Interior, gas station, liquor store, night. The owner, Tito, 40s, is behind the counter. He watches the curved corner mirror. A young girl, Nellie, 11, ball cap and oversized jacket, walks down one of the aisles and without hesitation grabs a bottle of wild turkey from the shelf. His frustration more apparent as she gets closer to his counter. She thunks it on the counter, her eyes hardly higher than the top of the bottle. You must be this tall to ride. Her young, innocent eyes look up, but she keeps her head down. Huh? You got any ID? I got money. Yeah? And I got a liquor license I want to keep. He grabs the bottle away from her reach. Get the hell out of here. It's from my daddy. You gonna leave, or am I gonna have to call the sheriff? That got her. She pulls back. Eyes wide with horror, unable to speak. She runs out the door. Exterior liquor store parking lot, night. A beat-up old Honda parked in the darkest corner of the dark lot, almost out of sight. A man, Ellis Saunders, 30s but looks 50, in the driver's seat, shivers from withdrawal under a blanket, in and out of consciousness. Nellie is there, through the open driver's window. It's okay, Daddy. Daddy. Daddy, someone will come along. I'll get you something. Don't worry. He's far from worrying. He shivers, just trying to survive. A set of headlights sweep across. A dually pickup with a horse trailer pulls up. Diamond Ranch, Tabor, Texas. The driver, Wyatt, early 40s, cowboy hat and boots, gets out and saunters toward the store. Nellie stops him before he gets halfway. Excuse me, mister. Could you get me a bottle of wild turkey? You can keep the change. Jesus, how old are you, 12? I'm 13. It's for my daddy. Her young, innocent eyes. Even in the darkness of the poorly lit parking lot, he can see she's been crying. He follows her look over to the Honda. He's sick. Needs a drink. Wild turkey, huh? Hopeful young eyes. She holds out the 20. He needs a hospital is what he needs. We're just trying to get to my auntie's. She'll be able to take care of him. And where's your mama? She ain't around. An obvious lie. The jingle of the store door opening up. Why? She bothering you? Tried to buy from me, said I was going to call the sheriff. You hear that, you little delinquent? I'm calling the sheriff. The door jingles closed. There's that look again. Eyes wide, mouth agape. She runs back to the Honda. Wyatt, sympathetic, but it's not his business. He goes into the store. Interior, gas station, liquor store, night. Wyatt puts a bottle of wild turkey on the counter. They share a smile and Tito rings it through. You got Lewis coming? Nah, just give him a threat and they turn tail and run. Wyatt nods, but his thoughts are in the parking lot. Mm Mm-hmm. Unbelievable, isn't it? How old do you think she is? No more than 11, 12 maybe. Said it was for her daddy. What kind of degenerate gets his kid to buy him liquor? What's this world coming to? Wyatt looks at the bottle in his hand. There's something there. A guilt, a darkness. Yeah, desperate people. He walks out of the store. Exterior, liquor store, parking lot, night. Bottle in hand, he walks over to his truck. Once again, there is Nellie. But this time, she's got a gun. Give me the bottle, mister. Oh, there, little miss. What you got there? All I want is the bottle. The 9 millimeter is huge in her hands. It shakes from her effort to hold it and her terror of the situation. Why don't you just give me that little water pistol you got there and we can both go on our ways? This here is a real gun, mister. And it shoots real bullets. So you better just hand over that bottle before I have to take it from you. For your daddy. No matter who it's for, give it to me. No, I can't do that. I'll give you this bottle and I'll just be killing the both of you. Can't have that on my conscience. Nellie looks toward the liquor store door. Rob the liquor store? Maybe. But I tell you what I will do. You get in my truck and I'll take you and your daddy anywhere you need to go. She's not sure. He can drink as much as he needs and you'll arrive there as safe as you please. We're going to San Diego. I'll get you as far as I can. All I want is the bottle. Like I said, I ain't giving you this bottle. So you got but two choices here. You can get in this truck with me right now or we can stand here staring at each other until the sheriff arrives. I'm not getting in that truck with you, mister. Your choice. He shakes the bottle. She looks back to her father, to the liquor store, to Wyatt, squeezes some tears from her eyes. It's me? 
Oh, the sheriff. Interior, liquor store, night. Tito looks up from his magazine to see Wyatt's rig pull out onto the highway. Has a sip of coffee and picks his teeth. Interior, exterior, Wyatt's truck, highway, night. Ellis is laid out in the back seat. Nellie, with her gun, presses herself against the door, as far away from Wyatt as possible. You can give him the bottle any time. Ah, he's asleep. Let's wait until he wakes up, you think? Fine, then. When he wakes up. Interior, exterior, Wyatt's truck, highway, later. The highway rolls by. The dashboard throws a pale light between them. So what's your name, then? What'll I call you? My name's Wyatt. Like the lawman, Wyatt Earp? Your name's Wyatt Earp? <laughs> no, just my first name's Wyatt. What's yours? I guess I'll just have to call you Wild Turkey, then. That gets a small smile from her. Nellie. Pleasure to meet you, Nellie. Bright headlights reach ahead, cutting through the darkness of the night. 